In the age-old battle of East versus West, who does it better? Home design is the name of the game, and in this new series, we get to bounce back and forth between designers on opposite coasts as they reveal their best work. On this episode of Design Smackdown, it's East home design versus West Coast styling. Let's see how the designers match up. Hey guys, I'm Tom Felicia, and on this episode of Design Smackdown, we are in fabulous Soho, New York City. Designer Drew McGookin is gonna show us what true loft style living is all about. Hi everybody, I'm Sharzad Kiade, and today we are in beautiful Manhattan Beach in the winter, I might add. And I'm with West Coast designer Joe Lucas, and he's gonna show me this insane luxe beachfront home. Are you ready? So happy to be here. Yes, me too. Yay. Welcome. In this incredible California beachside house. Talk to me about the design. Sort of a California coastal, I would call it. Mm -hmm. um, very West Coast, very indoor outdoor living, an open floor plan from living room back through the dining room to the kitchen, back to a study. So it's, uh, it's great living. These are all outdoor fabrics and it's a mix of different fabrics throughout the house. So these these sofas get beat up and they remain clean. It's great. Tell me about what makes this house like a California beach house. I think it's very fresh. It's very tall ceilings. Uh, you get a lot of light in here. And then we bring little sort of California pieces in and with texture and uh, you know, it's like this great rope wrapped table. Uh, this coffee table is a big custom one that we did that's wrapped in raffia. And it, and it just makes it very California, very fresh. Yeah, and there's, I mean, I noticed right away when I walked in, it's just, there's so much natural light. There is. Uh, we call it sunshine here. It's I don't think they sun, yeah, get, don't that get that much of, of that. it. They have on to the go out to the Hamptons to find coast. that. Yeah. Okay guys, we are in Drew's ultra cool Soho downtown digs. Drew, first of all, walking into this space, I'm in love with the architecture of this once upon a time warehouse. This is the real deal. What was the inspiration behind your design? Well, I mean, I think two things. The authenticity of the space really yeah. drove a lot of what we were doing. The beams, the brick. Also, my client loves a rustic kind of industrial vibe. I, I really think when he came here, he's like, wow, this is home. So yeah. he saw the pieces. He already kind of had that vision of kind of rustic and refined urban and kind of warm and still modern and open. Exactly. He brought forward two or three pieces of furniture. This coffee table was something he had in his last apartment. The table that, table cool that, table that looks like yeah, a door, that yeah, was a steel his old dining door. Table. So awesome. we had three or four of these rustic pieces that we brought into a much larger space right. and just expanded that idea. Like bachelor pad, you know, without the video right. games. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, and I mean, part of the design process to really pick apart those details, if you look at the green of the puck building, like that green is woven into this apartment. If you look at the brick, right. you know, the side of that leather chair is the brick color. It's also right. the brick color inside. So we really tried to sort bring, of bring the outside the indoor, in. Yeah. We did window boxes on all the ledges that we really, I mean, they're a little snow on them at the moment. But, but um, snow's you know, a good thing. Again, you know, some people, some people in the world don't even have, they don't even have four seasons. They don't get snow. Yeah. Joe, yes. this is so gorgeous. It's so like California coastal fabulous. Thank Talk to me you. about the inspiration. We really wanted to keep the kitchen light and bright. It's sunny and it's bright. So. It's sunny and bright because it's California. Yeah. Awesome. So you got a lot of inspiration from ocean, Southern California vibe. Yep. And the, the kitchen is sort of inset in the space too, so keeping it lighter is, is important. But then we mixed in a little bit, you know, more industrial pendants here, so it's not quite so traditional, but everything's light and bright. It's just a really beautiful Carrera marble, which we repeated on the breakfast table over in the breakfast nook, which they use all the time. I mean, the kids, they've got three young kids, so this is like the hub of the house. And it's big, which is great, because as compared to those tiny little New York kitchens. Tiny! Tiny! You actually get to live in the kitchen instead. Space. It's, you can be at the counter, you can be at the breakfast nook, the dining room's right over there, so there are a million places to be. So here we are in Drew's urban chic, classic white kitchen, farmhouse kitchen, but still very modern. 
I think so. I think there's a timelessness to what this kitchen yes. is. We really are referencing sort of historic details. It's all handmade. Yeah. It's like hand rubbed brass, leather detailing. Yep. But it's it's artistic. It's sculptural. Yeah. You sort of this the beautiful leather wood, and the wood and the leather and the metal. Yep. It's masculine. It's cool, but there's like a warmth. You have this whole sort of dining room area behind you. This incredible view that I can't stop looking out the window, which I love. Fun art. I mean, this is a really. It's a great way to make a modern space not too hard and too cold. I love it. Me too. Now I need a cocktail. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so Charizard, here's our wow factor. Whoa! Whoa! Put on your shades, oh, yeah. it's bright oh, out yeah. here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, Tom, we, we get a lot of sunshine over here, so we definitely need these sunglasses. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Welcome to Walk Street Living in Manhattan I Beach. Come love take a seat. It. A this little relaxing, right? Gorgeous. And I would just like the record to state that it is winter in Los Angeles Ooh, here. In this is how we live. You can go from indoors to outdoors. This is the bottom floor of the house. We've got a beautiful media room in there, a great bar steps away. You come out, you can have a little dining area, the fire pit. You can fit tons of people down here. And you're right on the walk street, so the kids can be playing two blocks from the beach. This is my kind of a vibe. You know, you, you get hot, you want to go dip in the ocean, you come back, you sit by the fire, have a margarita. We're just going to hang out and get it's some mojito. sun. Definitely. Uh. Okay, we are in this awesome, like, amazing master bedroom. And this is, oh wow, I'm loving this. I love the bench. I love the bed that's like built into the room, the wall covering, the window treatment. Everything we want in this room for it to be a little bit different is just wraps around yeah. you. Like this was like close the door, dark, warm, yeah. layers. It's so cool and what I love about it is like the bathroom is amazing. It still has the, the beam going through with the column. There's a family of ducks that live in there. They don't have a family of ducks on the West Coast. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> it's so urban, it's so sophisticated. It's a wow, I love it. It feels awesome. You guys have seen both coasts. You've seen east, you've seen west. What do you prefer? I'm obviously a California girl, so you know what I like best. Sorry, Tom, but I think the sunshine will always win. West is best. We'll see you on the next episode of Design Smackdown. That's for a behind the scenes video. <laughs> for a, a rainy day. We'll do some, we'll do some uh, outtakes here. Hello, everybody. Wait, I'm start over. Oh, sorry, sorry, I want the camera. Hey. Help me. Ready? <laughs> hey, guys. I'm Tom Felicia, and on this episode of Design Smackdown, we are blah, blah, blah. Okay. <clears throat> Constantly seeing us in, in a rhythm. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs>